I'm Drew Stevenson. This is for my professional responsibility class. Here I'm going to be talking about ABA Model Rule 6.4. Model Rule 6.4 is about law reform activities affecting client interests. I teach this in connection with the conflicts of interest rules because that's what the rule is really about. The ABA groups this rule with their kind of public service uh, group of rules. So let's dive in here. Rule 6.4, this is pretty specific, by the way, says a lawyer may serve as a director, officer, or a member of an organization involved in the reform of the law or its administration, notwithstanding that the reform may affect the interests of the lawyer. Now, you may be wondering if you just watched my video about Model Rule 6.3, how is this different than 6.3? And the distinction is that 6.3 is about basically legal aid clinics. It could be a law school clinic, it could be a freestanding uh, legal aid clinic, or the type of clinic that's provided by um, another nonprofit like a, a homeless shelter or an immigration uh, center or something like that. And so um, now that was 6.3 where they are providing a direct um, representation typically to indigent individuals who can't afford to hire their own lawyer. 6.4 is about um, organizations that are trying to advocating for reform of the legal system overall, reform of uh, legislative reform, reform of the judiciary, or things like that. So this could be groups advocating for tort reform, groups advocating for um, protection of worker rights or immigration reform or reform of our gun laws or something like that. We have a number of groups like this. Some are sort of uh, focused on big picture issues like constitutional law and constitutional interpretation, and some are focused on um, rather specific things like reform of our banking law or payday loans um, regulation or something like that. And that's what this rule is about. So if you're involved with one of those organizations, um, you can do that even though the reform can affect uh, could affect some of your clients. And so if you represent banks, for example, and um, you're part of a group that's advocating for deregulation of the banking industry, well, uh, that's obviously if you succeed, uh, that's going to affect your and benefit your clients. And so that's it could, in theory, in a sort of a theoretical way, be a conflict of interest, but you wouldn't be subject to discipline just for uh, serving on the board of directors or being a member of such an organization. But when the lawyer knows that the interests of a specific client may be materially benefited by a decision in which the lawyer participates, the lawyer must disclose that fact. You don't have to identify the client. And so I'm going to continue with my example. Let's say you represent some um, banks in your area and you are also serving on um, the board of directors of a group that's advocating for deregulation of the banking industry, um, or it could be you represent insurance companies and you're part of a group that's advocating for deregulation of the insurance industry. Well, if you're making a decision and you know this is going to benefit whatever the organization's about to decide, it's going to benefit one or more of your clients, you have to disclose that to the board. It's not saying you have to recuse yourself, but it gives them the option to ask you not to vote or not to count your vote or to exclude you from the discussion. You don't, however, have to name the identity of the client. So if they say, wait, which bank do you represent or which insurance company? You don't have to answer that. You just have to say, I have a client who's going to benefit if we prevail in what we're trying to do here or what we're deciding to do. And you know what? That's really all there is to say about ABA Model Rule 6.4. It's a short rule but it's specific enough that it would lend itself to being turned into a multiple choice question on the NPRE. So just take a few minutes to make sure the rule is clear in your mind before you move on to learning the other rules. A lot of our other rules are more substantive and have a lot more complexity.